Hello, this is Allison Gamayan, week five lab exercise. So I already have my tea candle lit, all of my tubes labeled. Okay, so we're gonna do the sterilization. Okay, sterilized and let's get the glucose powder I'm going to transfer half into the broth And again, pass the lip through the flame to sterilize it again. And return the cap. And from here, I'm gonna shake the shake until the powder dissolves. dissolved okay okay now I'll do the same for the s epidermidis Just take the cap off sterilize the lip and pour the rest of the glucose powder Sterilize the lip one more time. Place the lid back on and shake until the powder is dissolved. Okay. I'll do the same for the rest of the vials with the fructose and the mannitol. Okay, so now that I've equally dish or tried to equally distribute all of the powders within the broths, I've already sterilized my Durham tubes um, and they've been drying. So I'm going to insert one into each of the broths. And it says to do it Face down, like so. And it says if there is a bubble, invert the broth. So I'm going to keep doing that until the bubble is resolved. Okay, so I've placed all the Durham tubes into my broths. So now I'm going to get the S. Servicier broth, nutrient broth. I'm going to flame the lid or the lip, sorry, sterilize. And I've already shaken out one of the tubes, sterilized alcohol tubes or pipettes. So from here, I'm going to place four drops into each one labeled 
S. Servicier. Four drops. One, two, three, four. So there's four drops in there. And I will flame both lids. And then I'll do the same for all of the ones labeled as service, Servicier. Okay, so all of the broth, four drops, uh, all of the drops have been into the phenol red tubes. And now I'm going to incubate for 12 hours.